Connor, thank you. Big changes are coming to the way we eat and drink when we are out and about. As KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn shows us, customers say they see the need, but they feel for employees. Brian Jones tells me he and his family have been cooking meals at home and ordering takeout. We're keeping our exposure low and just not putting ourselves in any excessive risk. And starting on Tuesday, we'll all have to do the same for four weeks. While some people I spoke to tell me they're eating at home more and ordering takeout, other people tell me that they're not worried about going out to have a bite to eat. Manuel Velasquez and his family just ate at Buddy's Diner. I think more so about the workers. You know, it'll be hard if they can't work and they can't make rent. What happens then? Buddy's owner, Chris Novara, tells me they've already seen a drop in sales. He started cutting the hours of all his employees as evenly as he can. We do support as much as we can, you know, closing and, and helping contribute to, you know, not exposing people. Nearby at the sidebar, a bartender tells me her coworkers started crying when they heard about the ban. She says many of her coworkers live paycheck to paycheck. Manager Dallas Johnson says they're looking to see if they can still serve food through takeout and even do delivery. Figure out a way to like get food to them. Also at the same time, you know, trying not to waste our products. While the bartender tells me they're facing last call, she's hoping her and her coworkers get through this together. In Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News.